Howdy! It's Tubal Cain again. In the fourth episode of melting and pouring and foundry work. If you recall in the last couple episodes I made these two molds and they're ready to pour today. So I've broken out the furnace here. It's a Johnson, actually a heat treating furnace, but I use it as a crucible furnace. And it's gas fired and has an electric fan in it. And we'll be starting that up in a minute. Our source of metal is always uh, cast aluminum. Don't use extrusions or die castings. Try to find cast aluminum of a good quality like pistons. And I will be pouring it out of this homemade uh, steel crucible. And I've already got some metal in there so that's ready to put into the furnace and start here momentarily. A couple of words of caution. we got hot metal and when it turns into molten metal it's very dangerous. Make sure you, that you wear a full face shield, leather gloves, and anything else you might need to protect yourself. Keep the children away. Remember no water anywhere in the vicinity of cast, casting uh, or molten metal because it'll turn to steam and explode. Okay, in a moment we're going to fire up Okay, we're ready to start the furnace up. I've got a piece of paper in there. I'm going to light it and then turn the gas on. After the gas is turned on, I then turn on the fan and adjust the gas so that we get just the right flame and you can usually tell that by the roaring sound. And I've closed the door and this is going to take 15-20 minutes or so to heat up and get to the uh, melting temperature which is about 1200 and we'll pour it a little hotter than that at uh, probably around 1300 degrees and that is strictly uh, experience. I do not have a pyrometer to do the actual measuring. So I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. The metal is uh, molten in. I'm going to open the door, set the pot on the floor, or on the ground rather, on that grate, and I'm going to scrape the, dr uh, scrape the dross off, which is all of the impurities that have come to the top, and then I'm going to uh, quickly pour the two molds. Notice that I'm wearing shorts. I don't recommend doing that. Uh, do as I, do not do as I do, do as I say. Here we go. Always make sure you have plenty of metal. You need to have a little extra rather than run short. Notice that I put it right back. I left it in the pot, put it back in the furnace. I'll let it solidify in there. You can't do that with a clay or a graphite pot, but with a steel pot it doesn't really matter much. Sometimes I pour it into ingots, but today I couldn't find my ingot mold. This is my first pouring of the year. Also notice that I did not use any type of flux or degassing compound. And the reason I didn't is because I don't have any. And the smoke that's coming off of the two molds is the oil burning out of the Petrobon sand. 
Now that it's too uh, early to break these open, so we'll open them up, which we call the breakout or the shakeout, in the next episode. This is Tubal Cain saying, so long for now. <laughs>